everyone this is Derek with Grain Free Homestead um, we actually got a, a nice little snow last night kids are pretty excited about it uh, they want to they want to come out here and play in it and uh, we're gonna make a, a, a fun little special treat for them that I grew up on it's one of my favorite things it's called snow cream it's a uh, ice cream made from snow it's one of the one of the treats I had as a kid here in Kentucky. We don't we don't get a whole lot of snow, maybe three or four times a year, and uh, it was always a highlight to get some get some snow cream. So I'm gonna pass this down to my kids too. We have a have we have a tradition of just of getting some snow cream. I know some people may not may not be fans of uh, eating the snow. You just got to be careful what snow you get. You don't want to get none of that yellow snow. I, it's not very complicated, real simple, real quick little video here. Uh, one of the, there's a few little tricks though to making it good. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty particular about my snow cream. I, I wanna get some good snow, but I also wanna get the, uh, everything really, really cold. That way it won't melt and turn into a, uh, a milkshake. Uh, there's only a few ingredients. It's uh, evaporated milk, two cans of evaporated milk, and sugar, vanilla, and snow and some really cold bowls and spoons and I bring my uh, my cans of evaporated milk I sit them out outside here on the counter or on the on the spindles and on the deck here let them get cold for we get two cans let them get cold for a few hours and then I I bring all the spoons the bowls the little uh, snow snow getter, it's a uh, deep fryer spoon. Great for for getting that good snow on the top. All right, we're gonna let this cool off for a while, and we're gonna come back out and collect the snow. Well, it's been a couple hours. All the uh, bowls and the cans of uh, cream have gotten, or milk, evaporated milk. All the cans of evaporated milk have gotten cold. The bowls are freezing cold. I'm gonna scoop off some of this snow here. Trying to make sure you don't get any of the snow that's uh, snow that's been disturbed. We have a dog, so we have to be careful. Make sure there ain't nothing in your snow. You don't want to get down into the bottom just in case there's something that was dirty on the surface. Keep this top layer. You usually want to get a really good bowl of snow. Really. The real powdery snow is the best kind, and that's exactly what we got. You can see it's it's not real wet snow. It's real good, loose. That's the best kind to make the snow cream with, I think, because it makes it more creamy. You don't have like ice in the in the snow. You can do this with with just regular ice in a blender, but it's just it's not the same. It's not the same consistency. All right, guys, you got to move real quick or else you're going to have melted snow and have all your stuff lined up. we got sugar, vanilla, snow, and we got our cans of evaporated milk that have been chilling outside. Get your cans opened up. Just lightly pour in a little at a time so that you don't overflow it. The 
this stuff melts really quick. That's why we got the bowl, the bowls real good and cold. Because it will turn, it will turn into a milkshake really fast. Just want to start mixing it in. Try not to get it everywhere. <laughs> then we have our our homemade vanilla. Uh, usually about a teaspoon to a tablespoon, whatever, however much vanilla you like. I like a lot of vanilla. The more vanilla, the better it tastes. Just want to work, work that cream, that milk in there. You know, start to get a uh, ice cream look to the snow really quick. And it'll start melting a little bit. That actually helps you combine it all. Now, my wife does not like having the tons of sugar, but she does like snow cream. So we uh, we got a a monk fruit mix. I think this comes from Azure Standard. Um, you can look at one of our other videos to to see uh, you can see where she ordered this. Um, We'll just mix this separate from the rest of it because everybody else likes sugar. These bowls are ice cold from where they were outside. And you can see this isn't real white snow anymore. It's got that milk in it, so it's turning more like a, a cream color. And if, if I hadn't got these bowls cold, this would already be really melting down and it's starting to get that ice cream kind of texture to it I'll put her some separate to the side and she can sweeten that up Right now I'm going to add the sugar. I'd say usually one, one and a half cups is what was recommended, but you can you can sweeten it up to however however much you like. This is a quarter of a cup here. And just kind of mix this in to taste, you know, so you know, get it to the where you like it. It's not an exact recipe, but as long as you got evaporated milk, snow, vanilla, and sugar, or a sweetener, you can you can make snow cream. We love it. You can see the the consistency of this is just just almost exactly like ice cream. It's ready. Guys, this stuff is amazing. I highly recommend you try it. It's great fun for the kids, and uh, you'll love it even more every time it snows. It's really good. Hey guys, just wanna say thanks for watching the video. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy the snow cream, and uh, if you can, give us a, a like or a subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. God bless you guys, have a good one.